Today we're going to take a look at another tool for assessing risk, uh, the risk particularly of hand washing. So many times we're thinking about one dimension of hand washing and you really have to think about two dimensions. Are we washing our hands often enough? Are we washing our hands thoroughly enough? So what we put together here is a chart that helps you assess the current behaviors and what you think is more of a problem and what we're going to do about each. The importance of understanding that it's two different things is the corrections, the corrective actions are two different things. So let's take a look. For instance, here we have on this axis here, we have frequency. So let's say somebody's washing their hands absolutely as many times as, as possible out here in the frequency of 10. Uh, now we look at the quality of the hand wash. Is that person washing long enough to get a really thorough hand wash? Are they doing a good job? Now if it's a, a 10 there as well, wow, we've got, a, we've got a star here. So the frequency here, we got that. Now we might have somebody else that's looking at the hand washing and say, well, realistically, um, I think I probably wash my hands maybe 60% uh, of the time. Uh, and quality-wise, I'm always in a rush, uh, probably a four. So six on frequency, a four on the quality. So again, frequency on this line, quality on this line. You see what happens. Now, if you had a group of people come in and look at all the different ways that they're looking and assessing their, their hand washing, you'll get an idea of just where you are. Don't be surprised if you end up with something far less than this. People realize they're not washing enough. People realize they're not washing long enough. So take a look. There's corrective measures available for both of those. Uh, certainly the monitoring of frequency, there's new technologies coming on stream uh, that will help monitor that and uh, make it easier to do that. And on the quality of the hand wash, there's a, a simple piece on the website called ProGrade where you'll put a tracer on your hands, wash it off, give the employee an actual score and see how they're doing and let them know how important it is to wash their hands longer. So again, another tool to assess the risk, uh, take a look at it and uh, I'd encourage you to do that with a group of people, people that are familiar with your staff, quality assurance, operations. Uh, if the finance people are around, it's always a good, good idea to have them involved that they see what you're trying to do when it comes time to invest and defend that investment in hand hygiene.